Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Just when I thought I've seen it all, there's now an Among Us fighting game. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, when I first saw this, I thought it was a joke. I thought someone made an animation that looked pretty cool, but it turns out it was real. I'm blown away. It's called Among Us Arena and it's 100% free. Among Us Arena is a fan-made game and at the time of filming, it's only available for Windows. If you want to download it, head on over to starcutter.itch.io slash Among Us Arena. I'll leave a link in the description below just to make your life a heck of a lot easier. Once you're on this page, click on the download now button. From here, you have two different options. You can donate if you want to, or you don't have to. No one's forcing you to. If you don't want to donate, just click no thanks, take me to the downloads, and that will bring you to the main downloads page. From here, choose the version of Among Us that is closest to where you live. There are different versions here and they all reflect the servers. So if you want the best online experience possible with this game, because it does have online, Choose the version that is closest to you. For example, I live in Canada, so there is a Canadian server, but I'm actually gonna choose US East because I'm closer to that server. If you don't know, just download two different ones and find out which one works best for you. And the download size is only 50 megabytes. Once you've downloaded the file, extract it to its own folder and then open up Among Us Arena. That will launch the game. Now at the time of filming, I'm using version 1.0.1, so things might change in the future. You might get some more options, some more settings, and maybe the game will look completely different. But this is what I'm working with right now, and this is a fairly early release of the game. In the settings menu, I have no control over screen size. If I want it windowed or borderless windowed or full screen or to change the resolution, I can't. The only thing I can do here is change the music volume and the sound effects volume. I do recommend clicking the controls option here inside the settings to configure your controller. If you have a fight stick or a hitbox or something and want to configure specific buttons, you can do it from here. From the looks of it, it seems there are four attacks, light, heavy, knife, and gun. For such a small little fan project, I'm actually surprised at the menu options here. We have local matches, arcade mode, online mode, training mode, and if you want to find out who created it, you can click credits. So shoutouts to Starcutter and to Mello. Taking a quick peek at training mode here, and we have a choice of 15 different characters. I really don't think that was too tough considering all the characters look the same. It's just a minor color difference. The gameplay here is hilarious. There's a lot going on in the background. There's animated backgrounds and stages here. Uh, the attacks are also great. So here's the light attack. This is the heavy attack. Here's the knife attack, and here is the gun attack. And if you are curious, yes, this game even has combos. In fact, on Twitter here, people have already found and posted some dangerous ones. In arcade mode, I even discovered that there was air dashing. This game is pretty deep. For the online play, I did find some good matches, and I found some bad matches. I'd recommend just trying to play it with a friend in the first place, because sometimes there are some connection issues. Remember, this is just a fan-made game and it's still pretty early on in development. You do have the option to create a room and that's the way I would go. So right here, I'm in the middle of an online match just to show you the connection and this one is actually pretty good. I'm not complaining at all. At the end of the day here, I am really impressed with this free little fan-made game. It gets a big thumbs up for me and something I definitely recommend checking out. I have no idea how long this game is going to remain active for. I don't know if the creator of it is going to get bored and just forget about it, or if Inner Sloth is going to pull a Nintendo, issue a cease and desist, and kill all of the fun. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully this game gets updated and improves. Anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts on Among Us Arena in the comments below. Are you going to download it and try it out? Or are you going to give it the big old pass? If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.